So, uh, Michelle, we're going to talk a little bit about self-known, which I talk about it in my book. And during the pandemic, I know a lot of people were, well, all of us were isolated and it gave us an opportunity to get to know ourselves better and to self-reflect, self-examine ourselves. How did that work for you during the pandemic? Yeah, well, the pandemic was a hard year. Mm -hmm. um, it was a hard year for everybody. Yes. Um, but for me especially, I'm a very outgoing person. Um, I used to say that I was very extroverted mm -hmm. um, before the pandemic. But since the pandemic, I have been forced to um, have this time by myself and to self-reflect on who I am, who I want to become, what my relationship looks like with Jesus, mm. and um, what he wants for me in my life, and how I can really impact others that are around me. But I can't really do that if I don't know myself. Right. So, right. Uh, during the pandemic, I have been forced to be by myself and be confident in who I am, get to relearn things that I like and don't like and without others interfering mm -hmm. um, with, you know, what I want or interjecting, interjecting, <laughs> um, and kind of having a hold on, you know, is it okay that I like this and you don't? Um, mm -hmm. That's very important. Yeah, yes. it's, a, it's been a learning curve of not, just following the crowd right. and uh, right. separating and just, just being you yeah being an individual mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. who I am so it's been a learning curve but I have learned a lot and it's kind of bad because now that the <laughs> pandemic's over I have become way more introverted and I'm trying to get back out there but it's been hard because now everybody's like let's go do this let's go do this and I definitely don't have FOMO anymore um, so it's hard to be like, well, I'm just going to stay at home tonight because that's what I want to do and not because um, others are having that influence on me to do it. So what I'm hearing is that you enjoy being with yourself. I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> I could go, I could do, and before the pandemic actually, I was like, I'll never go out to eat by myself. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to a movie by myself. I still probably won't do that because mm -hmm. I still think that's a little weird, but mm -hmm. um, I'm okay with going out to eat by myself, going to coffee shops. I love to go to coffee shops nowadays to just sit there, have a morning coffee, maybe do a morning devotion um, or whatever it is, do some homework. Mm -hmm. That's probably mm -hmm. my new pet path favorite pastime mm -hmm. these days um to do by myself mm, but. but you know that's great because um i remember when i was younger i used to like going out by myself too and you not only touch on the topic of self no you also touch on the topic of self-love and mm -hmm. self-acceptance because everything that i heard you say falls into self-love self-know self accept and self care because you started to care for yourself too mm -hmm. so it's a combination of things so um definitely the pandemic really worked for you um and and i and i hope it worked for many people because i know that this was a time that um a lot of bad things happened but i also know that a lot of good things did come out of it so yes yeah, so i encourage everybody to get to um to love yourself, get to know yourself, you know, accept yourself, and take the best care of yourself. Well, Michelle, I want to thank you. Michelle is my first guest, and um, I'm excited about this. And if you have not ordered your copy, please make sure to order your copy and order one for yourself and for a loved one. And remember to subscribe to Greatest Jesus in Me YouTube channel. Be blessed and until next time.